Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're hungry. I'm pretty excited today because I thought today we'd go try having some Wagyu beef. I was watching one of David Sriracha's videos where he was showing us Wagyu beef that they were selling at Costco. Well, over here where I'm from, they don't have Wagyu beef at Costco, but I found the next best thing and that's a restaurant serving Wagyu beef and it gets better because it's all you can eat. So today, I think I'm gonna be a tourist in my own city and visit some local eateries and of course, the all-you-can-eat Wagyu beef. But before we go, I wanna show you what I received. It's pretty cool. And this is a big box of treats. During the holidays, I was uh, watching a video from two local chefs, two chefs, one knife, and they were eating this huge vat of chips, which is pretty soothing. And I suggested to them through the comments that if they extended that video to two or three hours, that would make a great replacement to that old burning Yule log video that we see during Christmas time. But anyhow, uh, being local, they were kind enough to come by and drop off not one bag of chips, but an incredible nine bags of chips that they have. So let me show you what they have here. They've got, um, Got some mole flavored, garam masala, smoky maple bacon. That looks pretty good. Let's see, buffalo cricket wings, interesting. Let's see, taro chips, and let's see, uh, the regular. Uh, some root vegetable chips, I think that should be healthy. Ooh, white truffle, I'm gonna hold that out. And zesty bruschetta, and I think that's a fun way of saying ketchup chips. So let's give the cricket flavored, the buffalo cricket flavored chips a try. I can't say no to white truffle. And then uh, some interesting taro chips. Let's see, let's try the taro first. They're two really nice chefs from Vancouver. They're actually in Whistler. And I think they're cooking in their secret kitchen that's 30 meters underground, under the mountain. Let's take a look at these. Oh, very nice. There we go. Oops. I hate it when that happens. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Yeah. That has such a deep, satisfying crunch. I'm not a big fan of taro, but taro chips, I can get used to this. Really good. Mm. Let's try the cricket flavored chips. And I think these are buffalo cricket wing chips. My chip opening skills needs to improve. Let's give that a try. Mm. I don't know what crickets taste like, but it's certainly a flavor I can get used to too. So I'm gonna give the white truffles a try next. And this is their own company they have called Rootables. So again, not sponsored, not sponsored by them, and, but it was really kind of them. So I thought I'd give them a shout out and I'll leave, leave the link to their, to their site in the description. But it's really good. And I guess if you're local in Vancouver, they mentioned they started selling these in the, uh, in the higher end grocery stores and I can already smell the truffle flavor. Just hope it doesn't go everywhere. Oh, there we go. All right. Mmm. I think these are a kettle style chip and they are so crispy and a deep satisfying crunch. Mmm. Well, I'm having a hard time figuring out which one I'm gonna take with me in the car to munch on. So as good as the truffle chips are and as good as the buffalo wing chips are, I think I'm gonna go with the taro. And I'm really surprised because I did not expect the taro chips to be so good. Mm. So thank you so much for joining me today. And again, I hope you're hungry. I'm gonna take these with me and uh, I'm just gonna head out and enjoy some nice Wagyu beef and hopefully a few desserts or three. So, here we go. Oh, 
finally, we're just heading up to the restaurant and for once, I'm glad it's a cold day and it's much needed for a hot pot. Hey Ellie, thank you so much. Okay. All right, thank you. This is a beautiful table. <laughs> thank you. All right, so I have my table here and it's a beautiful dining room. And thanks to Ellie, this is a massive table. I think they're expecting uh, a lot of food to be ordered, so, uh, and they're right. I can't wait for the all-you-can-eat Wagyu, but looking at the menu, looks like they have other stuff here. Let's take a look. So, looks like they've got some sashimi, some appetizers, sushi, and then of course the hot pot. So let's see if we can do some ordering. Hey Frank. Okay, huh? Hi, things look so great. Um, can I order the uh, sashimi to start? And what would you recommend? Number eight jellyfish sauce. Oh, the jellyfish, all right. Would you mind if I order one of each? Yeah, of course. All right. So it's pretty nice when the drinks are included too. We've got some soda. And then this, I can't really pronounce, or I don't want to pronounce, but let's give this one a try. Can I order something called, um, is it cow? This? Yeah. So with the table empty, I think we're going to wait a little bit. And before you know it, it's going to be all full of food. Oh, and the drink has arrived. Cheers. Mm. Really nice. Kind of like a flat 7-Up with um, flavor of ice cream. Mm. Really good. So I think with the table empty, we'll wait a little bit. And before you know it, it's going to be all full of food. Oh, and I see more food coming. Look at the sushi. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I might have overdid it. All right. So this is pretty cool. I got my appetizers and they were kind enough to bring out other dishes as well. Oh, and there's Yulia. Yulia, uh, from wine, especially from Japan. And it's limited, so just in our restaurant. Oh. To offer you one. It's very nice, made with the mocha tea and also mixed with coffee. Oh, wow. Oh, Yulia, thank you so much. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. You can't even taste the alcohol. It's so smooth. You can taste the matcha and the plum. Oh, definitely get this. Oh, thank you so much. All right, and with that, I think our food is all here and we can begin with the appetizers. Let me show you what we have. All right, so it looks like we have a crab salad with some tabiko, some seaweed, some uh, taco, which is a uh, octopus with wasabi. That looks pretty interesting. Frank's suggestion, uh, the jellyfish, a uh, bit of an acquired taste. I'm still acquiring that. Tuna and avocado, you can't go wrong. And for a little bit of health, we got some cucumbers. And then for a little bit of less health, we have some uh, takoyaki, ketchup of course, gyoza, and some uh, fried chicken, and some kimchi. And here we've got our rolls, some spicy tuna roll, some beef rolls, and then these are pressed sushi. And I think I'm in a little bit of trouble here, but we'll do our best. And let's try the interesting looking taco octopus salad first. Ooh. Ooh. You can definitely taste the wasabi, and the octopus is an interesting texture, and that's strong. I think we need to change it up with a little bit of tuna and avocado salad. This is wonderful. We've got chunks of tuna, some avocado. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Really refreshing. Tuna is nice and fresh. Avocado is nice and creamy. So a really nice change from the octopus. But uh oh, I see something else coming up ahead. Holy cow, Yulia. Yeah, so Yulia and Chef brought this sashimi platter out. And I think this is a little bit bigger than what you normally get, but we've got some uh, salmon rose, really good. And yes, I think those are spotted prawns, all peeled, some hamachi, really nice. I can't wait to give that a try. So I can't wait to try the sweet spotted prawns. So I think we're just gonna grab, dip, and eat. Mm. Oh, 
That is nice and sweet and so fresh. Mm, really refreshing. And let's try some salmon, but I'd hate to break up the rose. But... Mm, mm, very nice, very fresh. And I think we need something deep fried to contrast all the food. Let's try the takoyaki ball. Mm, very flavorful and nice and crisp. Very good. And I'm kind of getting addicted to the um, to this drink here. Mm, a cow piss, I think. Mm, cheers. But that sushi is really calling out to me. Let's give it a try. Mmm. I think there's some really fresh prawns in here. And a nice charred mayo sauce on the top. Really delicious. Okay, so I didn't have much luck with uh, jellyfish in the past, but since Frank suggested it, I've got to give that a try. Alright, just like the texture I remembered it. But I think they have some, uh, some nice noodles in here. Let's give that a try. Mm. It's going to be a while until I can talk. It's... Mm. Oh, still acquiring the taste. Flavor is very good. And texture, yeah, <laughs> rubber bands. So definitely very kind of everyone. And I think uh, with all the practice in the past, I think we can finish this off. And thank you for joining and for the moral support. So uh, we'll take you back uh, when uh, we're ready for the Wagyu beef hot pot. So that was a lot of food. And I really can't wait till our isolation is over so we can have friends to really help out here. But uh, that was quite a bit and uh, really tasty. So I think we're gonna just wait until our hot pot arrives. I'll take you back when it comes. Oh, our hot pot has arrived. Hey Frank, thank you so much. Ooh, thank you. So that looks pretty nice. And while it's heating up, I did order some uh, meat, uh, but uh, I'm skipping the vegetables and here they come. So Frank has brought over the meats and I can't wait to show you what we have. This is the regular beef, nice and marbled already, our pork belly. And this is the Wagyu beef. And this that's speckled with nice intermuscular fat is the, I think the chef choice Wagyu, really nice. So with the meats here, and I see the hot pot is all hot and bubbly. Uh, we're ready to start and they've provided some eggs and that actually serves as your dipping sauce and I think we'll take the egg, give it a crack, put it in the bowl, take the shells out, give it a beat. All right, so let's select our meat and uh, let's start off with the normal cut first. So all you have to do is grab, swish, dip, dip again and eat. Mmm, that's very good. The meat is nice and tender, very meaty. The egg makes it nice and creamy. Mmm, very good. And as tender as it was, I can't wait to try out the Wagyu beef. And I think they mentioned there's a little bit of uh, differences here. So these are the ones with the pocket of fat. These ones are with the fat more evenly distributed. And this is the one where the fat is really distributed. And I think this is kind of the higher grade here. So let's give that a try. Wish it around. Oh, look at that. It's absolutely translucent. Give it a little dip, a little dab. Oh, all right. <laughs> that is really good. So there is a big difference between the regular cut and the Wagyu cut. And as much as I thought it was overrated in the past and watching the videos, uh, it is superb. You hear people saying it melts in your mouth uh, and all that. Well, it actually does. And so not sure really how to describe it, but it's kind of like a meat flavored butter with flecks of sweet, tender meat scattered throughout. Mm, very good. Mm, phenomenal. And I can't think of anything better than Wagyu beef than here, where it's Wagyu beef all you can eat. Oh, gotta go for another piece. We'll try the other cut. 
a little bit of a dip and swimming in all that sukiyaki goodness. Dip. Mm. And even the contrast between the two type of wagyu, there is a little bit of difference. This one has a little bit more meaty chew, but the other one, the one where the fat is all distributed, it just melts. So I'm just going to continue feasting on all this wonderful Wagyu beef and all the meats. And uh, believe it or not, they have desserts. And I checked the desserts and the desserts are second to none. So uh, again, we'll take you back. Uh, it's a lot of eating. All right, so that was a lot of food. And lo and behold, our desserts are here. Let me show you what we have. All right, so we have a sesame ice cream, a green tea tiramisu, and this is a marshmallow sorbet cake. I can't wait to give that a try. This wonderful looking thing here is a lychee panna cotta. Oh, some creme brulee, green tea ice cream, and a taro crepe. Okay, so quite a bit of things to choose from. I can't wait to give it a try. Let's start with the green tea tiramisu. It's a wonderful matcha powder. We'll dig in. Oh, look at that cream. Mmm. Oh boy. That is great. Incredibly creamy with the mascarpone and a little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, finger cookies. And the matcha is a little bit astringent and it really complements the creaminess really well. Very good. So that marshmallow sorbet cake is quite a curiosity. Never heard of a frozen marshmallow before, but let's give it a try. It's a little bit frozen. Mmm, that is superb. Normally I don't like marshmallows, but a marshmallow sorbet I can definitely like wonderful marshmallow flavors but in a sorbet form where there's flecks and layers of ice mm, really good oh and i gotta dig into that lychee panna cotta mm, looks really luscious and i think there's a nice jelly at the bottom let's give that a try mm, not too sweet very creamy mm, and a nice nutty lychee flavor mm, very good mm, oh so that was a lot of food and a lot of appetizers and Wagyu beef and desserts. So uh, first time trying Wagyu beef and it certainly did not disappoint. Everything as good as they say it is and uh, really appreciative of the kindness of Frank and Elia. Uh, lots of food though. Uh, I suspect uh, normal when you come, uh, I suspect the sashimi platter isn't as big. Uh, and uh, really appreciative of the uh, complimentary shot of uh, plum wine. Uh, and I think it's because you guys are joining, that's why they have this, uh, uh, all these treats here. So I'm gonna finish off these desserts and I'm gonna play tourists in my own city and let's see what else there is to visit. Plus I need to take a break after this. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so it's raining again in Vancouver. What else is new? But I don't mind because a little bit of rain is kind of nice after that amazing hot pot with all the wagyu and food uh, really warms you up so a little bit of rain to cool you down is kind of nice and it's really nice to play tourist in your own city in fact uh, normally i don't explore in my own city but it's kind of nice to do so and actually i had to enlist some friends all the way from seattle in particular jess the dessert geek uh, that's what she calls herself asking her what are the places that she'd like to visit and she suggested uh, Foray Noir, uh, which I haven't seen before, and I can't wait to give it a try. And again, after all that food, I can certainly use a coffee. And what can be better than a cup of coffee? Maybe a cup of coffee with a dessert or three. So let's give it a try. Hey, Sebastian. Not too bad, not too bad. I can really use a cup of coffee and uh, all these pastries, uh, I, I think I'm gonna go for a pastry as well. All right, they all look so good. It's really hard to choose. Let me show you. Uh, Sebastian, what's your favorite here? Oh, the beautiful, uh, the one with the caramel shards and 
Oh. Can I get one of those? And uh, Kira, which one is your favorite? My favorite is the roasted caramel. Oh, you know what? I, I, I think I'm gonna give one of those a try too. And I'm kind of curious, I see something called the Versace and I'm not sure if there's a copyright infringement there. So I think let's give that a try. Thank you, Kira. Enjoy. Cheers. All right, so I finally got my table and I figured out what to order thanks to Kira and Sebastian. Oh, and I definitely need that cup of coffee. Mm, very nice. So let me show you what the desserts I have. So from the suggestion from Kira, we've got the caramel mousse. And from Sebastian, I think this is a caramel chocolate mousse cake. And then just to cut all that uh, richness, we've got the something called the Versace, which I think it's uh, cherries and cream. It's really good. So I can't wait. Let's dig into the caramel mousse. All right, so much too pretty to dig into, but a little fleck of uh, gold leaf. Let's give that a try. Oh boy. I'll break the chard. Mm. Oh, luscious and light, really deep caramel flavors. And I suspect there's something in the middle. Oh, I was right. It's like a decadent chocolate cake in there. Give that a try. Mmm. Oh, really nice caramel crumble, a little bit of crunch. Mmm. Very good. And let's dive into the caramel chocolate mousse cake. Alright, we gotta try the hazelnut shards. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy just as it ought to be. Let's try the cake. Oh, the meringues just cut so nicely. And let's give this a try. Oh, look at the layers. Mm, light meringues, but chewy caramel, and a really nice crumbly shell. Oh, but so rich. And I think that's where the Versace dessert comes in. Let's give that a try. And we'll have to take off this golden deformed square. Don't let it go to waste. All right, so that's very nice. Looks like a cherry coating and some cream. Mm, very nice and tart, and it's kind of like a midway between a mousse and a cake. And a nice contrast to the uh, rich uh, caramel and chocolate cakes and mousses. Very good. Mm. So thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, uh, wish you eat well, stay safe, and God bless. Cheers.